A production or production rule in computer science is a rewrite rule specifying a symbol substitution that can be recursively performed to generate new symbol sequences. A finite set of productions P P is the main component in the specification of a formal grammar, specifically a generative grammar. The other components are a finite set n n of non-terminal symbols, a finite set known as an alphabet sigma display style sigma of terminal symbols that is disjoint from n display style n and a distinguished symbol s element of n display style s in n that is the start symbol in an unrestricted grammar a production is of the form u v display style u to v where u display style u and v display style v are arbitrary strings of terminals and non-terminals however u display style u may not be the empty string if v display style v is the empty string this is denoted by the symbol e display style epsilon or lambda display style lambda rather than leave the right hand side blank so productions are members of the cartesian product v n v times v equals v sigma times v display style v caret asterisk n v caret asterisk times v caret asterisk equals v caret asterisk set minus sigma caret asterisk times v caret asterisk where v equals n sigma display style v equals n cup sigma is the vocabulary display style caret asterisk is the clean star operator v n v display style v caret asterisk n v caret asterisk indicates concatenation and display style cup denotes set union if we do not allow the start symbol to occur in v display style v the word on the right side we have to replace v display style v caret asterisk by v s display style v set minus s caret asterisk on the right side of the Cartesian product symbol, the other types of formal grammar in the Chomsky hierarchy impose additional restrictions on what constitutes a production. Notably in a context-free grammar, the left-hand side of a production must be a single non-terminal symbol. So productions are of the form n n sigma display style n to n cup sigma caret asterisk Topic. Grammar generation To generate a string in the language, one begins with a string consisting of only a single start symbol, and then successively applies the rules any number of times, in any order, to rewrite this string. This stops when we obtain a string containing only terminals. The language consists of all the strings that can be generated in this manner. Any particular sequence of legal choices taken during this rewriting process yields one particular string in the language. If there are multiple different ways of generating this single string, then the grammar is said to be ambiguous. For example, assume the alphabet consists of a display style a and b display style b with the start symbol s display style s and we have the following rules 1 s a s b 
Display style s right arrow a s b two s b a display style s right arrow ba. Then we start with s display style s and can choose a rule to apply to it. If we choose rule one, we replace s display style s with a s b display style a s b and obtain the string a s b display style a s b if we choose rule 1 again we replace s display style s with a s b display style a s b and obtain the string a a s b b display style a a s b b this process is repeated until we only have symbols from the alphabet ie a display style a and b display style b if we now choose rule 2 we replace s display style s with b a display style ba and obtain the string a a b a b b display style abab and are done we can write this series of choices more briefly using symbols s a S B A A S B B A A B A B B Display style S right arrow A S B right arrow A A S B B right arrow ABAB the language of the grammar is the set of all the strings that can be generated using this process. B A A B A B A A B A B B A A A B A B B B display style ba abab 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 d o t s c topic see also formal grammar finite automata generative grammar l system rewrite rule Bacchus Nauer form, a compact form for writing the productions of a context free grammar. Phrase structure rule. Post canonical system, Emil Post's production systems, a model of computation.